Alleluia! Christ is risen! This is your weekly hymn introduction for Sunday, May 10th. We are on the downhill slope of the 50 days of Easter now. In this half of the Easter season, our gospel readings every year come from the Gospel of John, selections from an extended five-chapter long monologue from Jesus spoken to his disciples at the Last Supper. This passage is sometimes known as the Farewell Discourses. In it, Jesus talks about what his followers are to expect after he is gone, and most notably, he promises the gift of the Holy Spirit. In three weeks, we will celebrate Pentecost, or the day we commemorate that gift. There is no Pentecost season, although we sometimes use that term as shorthand for the long stretch of Sundays following the day of Pentecost that have no particular seasonal theme. If there is any part of the year that might rightfully be called a Pentecost season, that would be these weeks in the later half of Easter, when we begin to think about and anticipate the Holy Spirit's work in our world. We still have Easter hymns to sing, and our first one for this week is number 379, Now the Green Blade Rises. The music is a French Christmas carol, hence its tune name, Noël Nouvelle and it is sometimes heard as Sing We Now of Christmas. This Easter text is an English text from the early part of the 20th century. It compares the rising of Christ to the sprouting of new plants from the ground, very appropriate to springtime. Maybe you've even done some gardening of your own during this unanticipated time at home this spring and are enjoying seeing those green blades sprout. Here's one thing that can be a trap in this hymn. In the second line of every verse, you'll see one syllable, two notes. Watch out. Hymn number 379. Our next hymn this week is number 530, Hear, O Lord, Your Servants Gather. Our gospel this week includes one of Jesus' most famous declarations about himself, I am the way and the truth and the life. This hymn spins off these words as a prayer for peace, unity, and healing. It was written by a Japanese Methodist pastor, Tokuo Yamaguchi, for a conference of the World Council of Churches that met in Japan in 1958, just 13 years after the end of the Second World War and as the Soviet Union and the United States were locking horns. 
The peace, unity, and healing prayed for in this hymn are every bit as needed today. The music is in the style of traditional Japanese court music and was written by Isao Koizumi, a prominent leader of church music in Japan. Hymn number 530. And we will finish up this week's set with another Easter hymn, number 367, Now All the Vault of Heaven Resounds. This melody, Lost uns erfreuen, is a popular one, sung in many denominations, and actually used for four different hymns in our book. The melody was first published in Cologne in 1623. This Easter text was written by a Lutheran pastor in Pennsylvania, Paul Zeller-Strodach, 
and first appeared in the Old Red Service Book and Hymnal from 1958. The Alleluias continue. Hymn number 367. That's all for now. Have a great week. Bye-bye.